Hello everybody, myself Prasant uh, Mukhavadhyay, faculty member, Electrical Engineering Department, Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management. In our uh, last class, uh, we were uh, discussing about uh, uh, single phase of full wave uh, converter, uh, actually with uh, center tap type uh, with uh, resistive load. Uh, now we'll uh, today we'll uh, discuss about. Uh, single phase uh, full wave uh, converter uh, with uh, center, tap, center tap type uh, with uh, uh, inductive load <coughs> that is RL load see uh, this is actually the waveform uh, of full wave uh, rectifier control rectifier center tap type with RL load uh, actually uh, basically, uh, the circuit uh, like same. Only the resistive load will be uh, replaced by the uh, resistive inductive load. Actually, uh, if we uh, this circuit actually, basically this circuit will be uh, 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 inductive load. That is, the resistor and the inductor will be in series with uh, in series. Uh, so this load will be replaced by an um, RL load or you can say the an extra inductance will be added with this uh, resistor so to make it a, a <coughs> inductive load now uh, come to the uh, discussions of uh, this inductive load uh, its uh, waveforms as uh, shown as i told you this is the voltage current and uh, assuming highly inductive load uh, so that uh, uh, the load uh, current is continuous that is uh, present at all uh, times. So, thyristor 1 or ACR 1 conducts for 180 degree from uh, alpha uh, to pi plus alpha. And uh, the load voltage follows the input voltage. And at pi plus alpha, ACR uh, uh, 2 is uh, fired. ACR 1 uh, will be turned off. Uh, and since the supply voltage uh, immediately appears uh, across it uh, and applies a reverse bias, ACR2 uh, uh, now conducts for 180 degree to uh, that is uh, from pi plus alpha uh, to 2 pi plus alpha and supplies the uh, power to the load. And uh, as a result, see this is like this this is uh, source, this is continuous uh, load current. This is uh, output voltage like this. Uh, okay, this is the output voltage waveform, and this is the source current uh, for ACL1 uh, conduction. This is ACL2, again, this is for ACL1, uh, like this. So, uh, average value of uh, the uh, say, uh, actually uh, this. Uh, load voltage is given by uh, VG equal to 1 by uh, pi uh, alpha uh, to pi plus alpha Vm sin omega t d omega t. See this one. Okay, this is average 1 by uh, uh, pi actually uh, conduction from uh, alpha to pi plus alpha. <coughs> Okay, and then that will uh, comes uh, to actually to Vm by pi uh, cosine. And output voltage uh, at its maximum, when it is maximum, uh, when alpha equal to 0, so if you put uh, alpha equal to 0, so cos 0 1, so it is maximum to Vm by pi. And uh, when alpha is uh, 90 degree, and uh, it's a negative uh, maximum when alpha is 180 degree. So, uh, maximum when alpha is 0 uh, and 0 when alpha is 90 uh, and uh, negative maximum when alpha is 180 degree. So, this normalized value of the output will be cos alpha. Okay. So, this is the normalized value. So, now uh, output RMS uh, should be the, uh, if you plot uh, the control characteristic between uh, normalized value V and uh, as a function of alpha, so that's going to be shown here. This is like this. At zero, it is maximum, and that is uh, at 90 degree, it will be zero. Okay. And at 180 degree, it will be again uh, a negative maximum. 
so this is like this so actually this is rectifier operation and this is inverter operation uh, like it will be like this this is the vm versus alpha plot <coughs> so actually uh, rms output voltage rms output voltage uh, uh, will be output uh, that is equal to the, the rms value of the source voltage yeah, vs so average uh, value of uh, output current will be given by uh, this if we uh, divide uh, this actually uh, uh, vo actually average value of the output voltage is divided by r so this is equal to uh, vm cos alpha uh, by pi into r and the load current uh, has an has an emf uh, the output average current is uh, uh, given by uh, this is like this uh, as an so this is will be minus ev uh, divided by r okay so this average and uh, rms values of the uh, thyristor current are given like this this is the average current uh, uh, if you integrate over uh, alpha to pi plus alpha of this uh, average output current uh, with respect to omega t so d omega t so this will uh, give you the average uh, thyristor current okay so that will be half of uh, uh, average output uh, current and rms value so will be uh, 1 by root 2 times uh, half of uh, so 1 by root 2 times uh, uh, average value of the uh, output current so uh, this uh, rms value of the supply current uh, will be given uh, like this so this will be uh, rms value of uh, the supply current and RMS value of the uh, average value of the uh, output current will be same so in that case. So the average value of the supply current equals zero uh, because uh, its positive uh, part uh, equal area equals its negative part. So, uh, but the average for the half cycle is equal to the average of the load current. Okay, this is the half cycle. So. Uh, the output power is uh, given by uh, this is the uh, V into output pole, average output voltage into our average output current. So this will be so I use RMS square uh, into R. So uh, if the uh, load circuit has an EMF, uh, uh, the uh, output average power is given by uh, this is actually uh, output uh, average uh, power. Uh, output average power is equal to a product of uh, average output current into average output voltage that is equal to like this so plus it is uh, e into i u zero average so the input power, power factor is given by like this so output by uh, this uh, uh, source of um, power that is uh, like this so this will be average output power uh, divided by uh, this one okay and also this is the uh, uh, input uh, RMS, this is input power. So that's why actually in, uh, input power factor, uh, this is P by S, actual output by S. So uh, this will uh, give us uh, the uh, uh, center tap uh, single phase uh, power uh, full wave uh, converter, uh, single phase converter with uh, RL load. So once again, if we uh, repeat uh, this one, this will be uh, like this. Actually, uh, going to the waveform, we are finding uh, that uh, 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 voltage, current uh, are taking into inductive load as a highly inductive, so that uh, load current is continuous. Uh, that is present at all uh, times. So ACR1 will be uh, conducting uh, for 180 degree from alpha to pi plus alpha and uh, load voltage uh, follows the input voltage that is shown here. This is the source voltage and this is the load voltage. So this will follow the input voltage. Okay and uh, the uh, since uh, actually at pi plus uh, alpha, ACR2, uh, ACR2 is uh, fired, so that is ACR2 is on, and ACR1 will be turned off, and uh, due to the uh, 
since a supply voltage immediately appears across state here, it is uh, so it is in the negative half of the supply voltage, so it will be off. And uh, uh, after a reverse bias, so actually uh, AC two is now conduct for again uh, for the one eighty degree from pi plus alpha to two pi plus alpha, and supplies power to the load. So what we are finding, we are finding here that is. For the positive half, uh, HR1 is being conducted for 180 degree and that is from alpha to pi plus alpha and HR2 and after that uh, 180 degree HR1 uh, will be turned off uh, due to the, the say supply voltage at least across it is negative so that will be reverse biased and at that uh, time HR2 will be turned off or uh, turned on and it will be conducted for the uh, next 180 degree from uh, uh, pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha and uh, it will supply power to the load. So this average uh, value of the load voltage will be given by how much from 1 to pi uh, alpha to pi plus alpha dm omegati dm omegati and that will be uh, uh, actually coming uh, to dm by pi uh, cos alpha. So from this equation of the output voltage we are finding that uh, it is uh, when alpha is equal to zero, uh, output voltage is uh, maximum, and when it is zero, when uh, alpha is 90 degree, and it is the negative maximum uh, when uh, alpha is equal to 180 degree. So the normalized output, uh, average output voltage will be this uh, uh, cos alpha. Okay, uh, it is shown here. So actually, uh, the uh, Control characteristics uh, if we uh, plot uh, normalized value as a function of alpha, so it will be found that the RMS output voltage is given by output uh, RMS value and, and the source RMS value. So this will be like this. So at uh, uh, 0 it is maximum, at 90 it is 0, and at 180 it is negative maximum. So actually, uh, this average value of the output current is given by this output uh, average uh, voltage divided by R. So this will be like this. Uh, if you put the average value of uh, this one, so we have 2 pm cos alpha by pi. So load, uh, if the load uh, circuit has an EMF, uh, the output average uh, current is given by like this. Yeah. So this is the EMF. So this will be uh, output average current. The average and the RMS values of the thyristor current will be like this. This is the average current. So it is half of the output average current. And the RMS value will be 1 by root 10 the output average current. So the RMS value of the supply current will be given from this equation. This will be RMS value of the supply or source current will be equal to average value of the output current uh, and then the average uh, but the average uh, for the half cycle is equal to the average value. so this average value of the supply current equals to zero because this positive part area equal to the negative area uh, but uh, the average uh, for the half cycle is equal to the average of the load current so that is given here and the output um, power is um, given will be like this, this is the output uh, product of the average output current and output voltage and this will be uh, uh, RMS value of the output current square into R, this is the output power and if the uh, load circuit has an uh, EMF, uh, uh, the output average power is given by uh, like this, so this is, uh, so this will be like this if there is an EMF, so this plus PI O average. So input power factor will be uh, P by S, uh, that is output uh, power divided by the uh, supply uh, power by input power. So that is equal to, this is output power and this is your uh, product of the uh, uh, source voltage and uh, source current will give you the, actually, um, this is the input power. So power input power factor will be uh, this output power by this uh, in, in input power. Okay, uh, P by E is output actually, actually it is the active power. And this is the available uh, power actually. Uh, <coughs> so, so that's all uh, about uh, this uh, discussion of center tap uh, single phase pull converter with RM load.
Okay, okay. Now we'll uh, discuss uh, this uh, inductive load uh, with uh, a free wheeling doubt uh, for uh, center tap uh, single phase uh, full web uh, converter. So uh, a free wheeling uh, that is connected uh, across this uh, inductive load uh, right now. This was the first uh, case discussions where uh, this free wheeling uh, diode were uh, uh, not present. Uh, now uh, this free wheeling diode is uh, connected across this uh, load. So basically uh, this is a center tap, uh, this is a thyristor 1 for the positive half uh, mm -hmm. of the supply voltage and this is uh, uh, for the uh, negative half of the supply voltage. <coughs> this will conduct for 180 degree and this will be for another 180 degree or this is for uh, negative half. So um, and, uh, in our last discussion uh, the load was basically uh, inductive load, so RL load. So now, so we connect uh, a, a prevailing diode across this uh, load. Uh, this is with the circuit diagram. So, uh, as a result, uh, this modifies the uh, this inductive load will modify the voltage and the current waveform uh, of uh, our uh, this uh, voltage and current waveform figures what we have uh, uh, got. Uh, so far, in, in, in our uh, resistive inductive load or RL load, or simply we can get heavy uh, inductive load. Now, uh, this will be modified um, in presence of this uh, uh, free wheeling uh, diode. <coughs> so, actually, uh, as the load voltage uh, tends to go negative, uh, the free wheeling uh, diode becomes uh, forward biased and uh, this starts conducting. Okay. So this will contact will start conducting and uh, uh, this load voltage is uh, clamped uh, to zero volt uh, nearly uh, constant load current is maintained uh, by a uh, free wheeling uh, say that uh, through by uh, actually maintaining this uh, free wheeling current uh, through the free wheeling diode and the average uh, load voltage and uh, um, and uh, load current uh, will be like this mm -hmm. So this is actually uh, average of load voltage, its equation, and it is uh, output will be like this. So if we uh, uh, calculate this uh, one by twice by uh, so two, two, two twice of integration pi to alpha, uh, sorry alpha to pi, root uh, to be sine omega to d omega t. So it will ultimately come as uh, dm by pi one plus uh, cos alpha. And average current will be uh, this will be divided by uh, R. Okay, so the uh, average uh, output voltage divided by R. So this will be Vm by pi R one plus cos alpha. And this is the uh, circuit center tap uh, RL load and uh, fueling diode. Uh, this is uh, thyristor one. Uh, this is output current. Uh, this is the output voltage. Uh, say across uh, this load. <coughs> now uh, see uh, this is your uh, source uh, or supply uh, voltage this is output voltage actually this one actually this one output voltage so see the basic difference here actually it was uh, uh, like this yeah see this person is not uh, present due to the presence of the free wheeling diode. So as a result the profile will be modified like this. Okay. And that is shown here. See the difference. That is shown. See. So actually this portion which was uh, uh, due to the presence of the free wheeling diode or oh, this uh, output voltage is clamped to zero. Okay, that's uh, that I told you. Uh, this is this, the load voltage is clamped to zero volts. Uh, so at nearly constant current is uh, maintained as a result. See the output current. So it is nearly constant. So previously there was a variation. If you uh, compare this with uh, only uh, the presence of uh, actually uh, your RL load. See the variation. This is the output current actually. Okay. See? 
actually due, due to this uh, the, this is diff of the output current is due to the presence of this negative voltage in the out, output voltage so that uh, and that portion has been modified uh, due to the presence of this uh, free reeling diode and it makes it nearly constant okay so uh, see see this is the difference okay and uh, this is the, uh, the thyristor uh, current or thyristor 1 and this is for thyristor 2 this is uh, conducting for uh, first 180 degree uh, from alpha to pi plus alpha and uh, this is for a negative uh, part that is for another uh, 180 degree okay so uh, this is actually freewheeling diode current here actually uh, this is the voltage and current wave forms of, uh, um, of this circuit now uh, this average uh, load voltage and load current uh, we have been calculated here <coughs> this is the waveform so uh, freewheeling uh, uh, diode carries the uh, load current during the uh, delay period so this is the delay period this is the firing angle is alpha so this is the delay period and during this time, uh, this freewheeling diode is uh, carrying the current. Okay, that means uh, current will be flowing through like this to this load on this freewheeling diode. Clear? So um, basically, this load is inductive. So that uh, is due to the change in DIDT. So the energy will be uh, uh, when this uh, negative this negative part, so this diode will be powered by. And it will uh, conduct the current through this, and as a result, uh, the output voltage will be clamped at zero voltage. Okay. See, this is the uh, diode current. Clear. So, uh, freewheeling uh, diode actually uh, carries uh, the load current uh, during the delay period. Um, that is um, alpha when the shears are off. Uh, therefore, uh, average and RMS values of the current uh, to the uh, fueling diodes are like this. This is the average uh, current, average value of the um, current uh, uh, through the fueling diode. That is, that will be actually uh, this, this one. Okay, and this is the RMS current. Okay, so uh, the RMS average and RMS value of the current through the thyristor will be uh, given like this. So this will be one by twice by. Uh, integration over uh, alpha to pi so uh, output of this current d omega t so this will be uh, coming to this uh, portion and the rms value you know this is uh, uh, the square okay of uh, the uh, output average value square uh, into this mean divided over like this is root so root mean square value this will become like this okay so RMS value of the uh, supply current will be uh, given by this expression here. Yeah. So uh, root over of 1 by twice pi, twice of integration over alpha to pi, uh, I uh, average output voltage, output current square d over t. So this will be coming like this. So Vm uh, into 1 uh, plus cos alpha divided by pi r in the root of uh, pi minus uh, alpha uh, by pi. So, average uh, value of the supply current uh, equal to 0 for uh, complete cycle. Uh, but for half cycle, if we like uh, RL, uh, so if we take, uh, so average value of the supply current will be like this, Vm uh, cos alpha uh, pi by r into pi minus alpha by uh, pi. Okay. So that's uh, actually uh, uh, clear our uh, say uh, idea about uh, the RL load in presence uh, with uh, um, freewheeling diode across it. So the basic uh, uh, difference is uh, uh, clear from the their waveforms. That is uh, due to the presence of the uh, freewheel or flywheel uh, uh, diode. The output voltage is clamped at uh, 0 volt uh, and uh, the output or load current is uh, modified 
in such a way that uh, a constant uh, output uh, current is uh, uh, being generated. So, uh, uh, actually, uh, during the delay time, this uh, free will uh, diode will uh, be conducting, and its waveform will be like this. This is uh, the waveform of the current uh, of, uh, through the thyristor one. This is through the thyristor two, and this is output voltage. Uh, this will be like this, and see, this is modified uh, in the presence of uh, prevailing uh, diode. Uh, then uh, earlier one with our load. So with uh, this we can uh, conclude about uh, our discussion on uh, center tap type uh, single phase of full wave converter. So we have started uh, these discussions of uh, single phase full wave uh, converter uh, center tap type with uh, firstly with resistive load. Uh, then with uh, resistive inductive load or uh, inductive load, high inductive load and then uh, the, uh, in addition with this inductive load we have connected a free wheel diode uh, across the load and uh, we have uh, uh, seen uh, the clear uh, modification of the uh, say waveform profile, uh, voltage and current waveforms of uh, the output uh, uh, say uh, load uh, output uh, voltage current and uh, through thyristors uh, 1, 2 uh, etc and uh, how it modify our say during uh, with modification of the initially it was a resistive load then resistive inductive load and then uh, <coughs> psi will diode across uh, this uh, load and uh, we got uh, the clear uh, um, say uh, modification uh, of uh, the from resistive load to um, resistive inductive load uh, then uh, to resistive inductive load uh, and uh, say free wheel diode across it. So actually uh, see this is the waveform initially resistive load waveform uh, this is output waveform okay uh, this is actually current mm, then we uh, got this waveform with uh, highly inductive load uh, see this is output waveform uh, this is not uh, continu continuous but uh, this is not constant uh, manageable is varying due to this uh, portions uh, okay of the inductive load uh, this uh, back EMF uh, due to this back EMF presence. Now, not back EMF, that's actually as an EMF actually, no EMF, EMF output. So, uh, and after that, we have uh, uh, discussed, say, uh, by connecting a free wheel uh, or flywheel diode across uh, this load, and we uh, uh, got the clear uh, modification of uh, the waveforms of the voltage and the currents uh, in presence of this uh, um, say free will diode. So how we had modified uh, this uh, uh, output voltage waveform. So this negative portion has been uh, being clamped to zero due to the presence of this uh, uh, free will diode and this free will diode uh, uh, conduct during the delay time. So this is the delay time from zero to alpha. From, um, uh, pi mm, to pi plus alpha uh, and so on. So in this way actually uh, this uh, we are finding uh, a constant output current. A constant output current uh, there is uh, uh, no uh, any 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 variations so it's, it's almost constant. So with uh, uh, this we can uh, conclude our uh, uh, discussions on uh, this uh, single phase uh, full wave center tap type uh, converter uh, with uh, various uh, loads resistive, resistive inductive, inductive or highly uh, inductive load and uh, I would say modifications of the waveforms by connecting a free wheel diode across the uh, load 
and uh, how it has been uh, modified from uh, waveform from resistive to inductive IP and then the presence of the uh, pre-wind diode. And that's all about our discussion today. So